My first Friday at Funkin' Mod starving artist was me venting about a lot of things that happened the start of 2021. I didn't expect much from it, so my plan was to throw it out there and run. That is why there's a skeleton behind the speaker. Originally, she was supposed to die. I showed off the mod in the Game Banana Friday at Funkin' modding Discord to show the music I made at first. One person there straight up told me my music was very bad and offered me to make the music for me. This person was none other than Sebaster. He did the tracks in less than 24 hours, all four of them. While hanging around in another Friday at Funkin' modding server, I met Sun Planet. He offered to chart it for me and I agreed. I was in a call with him and he started being sad, very sad. And I think he started crying at some point, I'm pretty sure. So I said everything is fine and that she wasn't dead? Lying through my teeth at the start, but then deciding on actually letting her not die. Cause I started to feel bad for lying at first. Then the mod got released and people loved it. I was confused at first, since on one hand, wow, I'm actually making it as an artist now? I'm monetized after over 10 years finally. But things that happened at the start of the year were catching up to me as well, giving me responsibilities I wasn't prepared for. That put me in a weird spot. Though I decided to lay the groundwork for the, my second mod cause so many people wanted more it took me a bit to get the hang of things though. Announcing the follow-up mod retaking Sandy way too early. Being overexcited about everything that was going on. After doing uni work or helping my parents, telling people about my cartoon Stella Pie, animating another Stella Pie short, making a funny silly mod with the gang when I had time, and do commissions as well. Finally, after like three months, the time came where I would actually work on the new mod correctly. Of course I had to come up with an explanation why she didn't die, why there is a fucking skeleton behind the speaker and so on. Well, easy. She's half demon. That can puke up her skeleton. The pink blood went from visual element to being an actual part of her demon anatomy. And so retaking Sanity's development really began with its ups and downs. Don't forget to follow for part 2 of this video series. See you in the next one!